another one <laughs> um, I was looking in the front camera on my phone and my hair looked like so much longer I was watching like one of my old vlogs because mommy we may end up watching our old vlog and the growth difference is it's giving did you look at the vlog on my hair mom like it's giving the growth is giving and that vlog was in June so I'm proud I'm very proud Anyways, if you're new here, my name is Ashley Carla. I always forget to do like a cute little intro. I am based in Jamaica and I'm a lifestyle and travel blogger. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the, I don't know, to the vibes. <laughs> but um, it's Monday and I'm actually starting the vlog on a Monday, praise God. I'm about to cook. Mommy claimed that I'm her personal chef, so I'm about to cook and make <laughs> and make lunch. She wants salmon. I don't know how I'm gonna cook the salmon, but we'll figure it out. We always do. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Salmon rice has been trending on TikTok right now. Never tried it, but I feel like I might give it a go. I don't even have all the ingredients that you need to put in there. I think they use mayonnaise, sriracha, which is hot sauce. Um, and then they blend everything together. And then they use like seaweed, like dry seaweed. I don't have none of those things. I only have like mayo, don't have no seaweed or anything. But I'm gonna look up and see like, the actual ingredients so i don't know if i'm right uh, my intentions are not to make salmon rice by the way <laughs> my mom wants salmon and that's the reason we're cooking it but i think i'm gonna do go for like a chinese type um vibe with it i'm gonna put like some oyster sauce soy sauce and a little bit of honey um, make a little sauce and pour that over the salmon when it's like halfway done because salmon really doesn't take that long to cook Once it once it um it reached like halfway on the side I'm gonna flip it and then pour the sauce over it So we're gonna do that
Audrey lunch. You're, you're so messy, girl. Audrey lunch festive. All right, all right. <laughs> this is me. This is my this is my salmon bowl, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the TikTok stuff today. Another time. But Miss Mom, Miss Mom, lunch nice. Must be nice. Have somebody to cook your lunch. It is. Must be nice, huh? <laughs> mm hmm Can't go back to work now. It's Wednesday morning. And I'm currently, you know, <laughs> like putting together my calendar and all the vlogmas content that i want to put out deciding on the dates for upload and all of that because i didn't like i knew how i knew december started last um next week but it's just like i was like wait ashley like you need to sit down and kind of like put this to paper so you know like how many videos you gotta do you know when the vlogmas content starts which is on december 1st which is next wednesday and just kind of figure out like how to go about you know doing everything mm, i am i'm so nervous for vlogmas this year because it's just it's gonna be so much content and i'm gonna be doing a lot so it's just like can i keep up <laughs> but i'm gonna fight and try my absolute best to keep up with vlogmas this year because i think this year has the potential to be my best one be honest um i'm trying to plan um like things and so so that i can have content to film but guys as of right now i have like 14 videos i think i have 14 upload days in december i'm not gonna tell you guys what the schedule is yet i will announce the schedule um on the vlog that goes out on december 1st this might be that vlog i'm not sure yet i'm trying to figure it out if not you know you'll see the announcement in the next vlog that comes up and i will tell you guys the vlogmas dates you know what dates you guys can look out for content on it's gonna be very tight but i'm gonna try my best to stick to it i'm not gonna be uploading every day um i'm not in a position to upload every day to be honest with you guys i don't have the equipment to upload every day and i don't have i just don't have the equipment and the time to upload every day so that's out the window maybe next year we can upload every day but for this year i definitely don't have the equipment because i would definitely need like um more vlogging devices to upload every day storage capacity um and editing time and all of that to upload every day so that's kind of out the window for me but i am currently looking at um three days a week for christmas so as I said, I will announce those days on the vlog that goes up on December 1st. Whether this is the vlog or not, you guys will find out as you keep watching. But yeah, I'm excited. But I'm nervous. But I do have... I think I'm going to have some good content. I already um, plan... There's already things that I have planned for this weekend and this week that are going to fall into Vlogmas because they're gonna be in the back those videos are gonna be in the back so yes i'm preparing you guys for a good vlogmas i'm setting you guys up people are already asking you know um i'm getting myself together y'all so i have um a thing with um a gift card company at midday it is currently 11 20 a.m so i need to actually go and get ready because yeah i'm nowhere near ready so I'm gonna finish up what I'm doing here on my laptop and then I will see y'all at Maxi's.
y'all this is the most bougie butter i've ever seen why is it so bougie it's giving it's giving bougie <laughs> but y'all remember this wine bottle why am i saying wine bottle this oil bottle that i got from the chinese store that i showed you guys everybody was asking me about that store on instagram like <laughs> I need to be an ambassador, okay? Because I've done a lot for that store. I'm kidding, but not really, but yeah. This is my oil bottle that I had bought. This is currently olive oil in there. And I have some um, vinegar in this one. Um, I hardly use this because I, I'm not even like cooking and stuff or um, doing toast or like any salads or anything. So I've hardly been using it, but it's really good vinegar. But yeah, I've had them there. I have another one as well that I'm supposed to be putting the the oil in the bottle. Because I have it in the thing. I'll probably do it right now actually because I'm going to forget. But I'm in the kitchen and I am currently making something to eat. This is the other one. Still has a sticker on it. I had washed this, but I'm probably going to wash it again. I also have like um sesame oil that I use a lot so I feel like I'm probably going to be buying more of these I told myself I wasn't gonna buy too many because I felt like we didn't use that many different kinds of oils but to be honest we kind of do why was I lying to myself because the olive oil and the sesame oil are really my oils my mom don't really use them but I those are the oils that I cook with and I use on like a regular basis um, but sometimes we have like vegetable oil and you know like some other frying type oils like this one for example canola I don't really use these I use this like if I'm frying something like deep frying something but most of the time I use my olive oil I'll use my olive oil to fry too. I don't care. Nobody can tell me nothing. What am I gonna fight me? Can't fight me. But yeah, I use it mostly. I use my olive oil for everything. I don't care. Because it's just a healthier option. So I just prefer doing that. Um I just realized what I did don't make sense because you know that I wash out this bottle. Even though I'm pretty sure I washed it already. Now that I wash out the bottle, I can dry it to put oil in there. So, I think I'm just gonna leave it on the counter. Let it dry and then tomorrow, tomorrow I pour it out. Cause mom been asking me why I haven't. Mom? Yeah. <laughs> Will you just buck up in or something? Yeah. Um, say hi. I said say hi. She is so like addicted to YouTube right now. Like she's she's <laughs> why am I scandaling you? She's going through a YouTube phase right now. So she is watching everybody who is somebody on YouTube. It's cute though, but um so yeah when I side tracking but not really but when i work on the living room because i want to work on the living room hint hint early next year because you guys have been asking for me to make over like another space i feel like the living room should be a little quicker than my room was because we're not really doing much with the living room other than changing the paint color kind of reorganizing just the way the furniture is in the in the space and also um like mounting the TV, maybe getting a new TV because I want to get a smart TV for the living room because my, as I said, my mom watches a lot of YouTube and I thought it would be nice for her to have a smart TV that she can watch YouTube on, like, you know, instead of watching, because she watches it on her phone mostly. So I was thinking that'd be cool, you know? So yeah. So... And also, I was thinking that we could get like a console table for the like the media area for like the TV and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see how it goes in January, like how we what we decide on doing. But I feel like I'm just gonna eventually 
<laughs> like little by little i feel like i'm just gonna be like transforming the house well not everywhere but like just the different spaces just to kind of i don't know i feel like the house kind of needs like a like a facelift but not in like a drastic way but like in like little things because we already have like like even the kitchen the kitchen is nice and stuff the only thing is that don't tell mommy but the only thing is that i probably change like the paint color um eventually i'll be like hey mom let's change the color of the kitchen <laughs> but other than that i mean the kitchen's fine and of course get like a bunch of organizing containers and stuff for like the you know on here you know some stuff for the pantry all that cute stuff but when we get there we get there 2022 we will see how it all goes you know exciting stuff by the way how do you feel how do you guys feel about this new year coming up like 2022 how are we feeling because i feel like i've been talking about things that i'm going to do next year but i haven't i don't think i've sat down and kind of thought about you know my plans for the year what i want to accomplish i mean i have things that i already have like on like a five-year plan and you know but like just the little things of how to get there or to continue getting there from this year into 2022 but i think i just haven't thought about it because it's like it's kind of surreal that 2021 is almost done like i feel like i feel like this year lasted five months like that's how i feel because it's still so weird to me when i think about 2020 like i feel like i'm still in 2020 you know what I mean? So now moving into another year, 2022, it's like, wow, like, this is a new year. And I'm also getting closer to 30, which also scares me. Oh my god. I'm gonna be 28 next year, y'all. 28 years old. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going back to my room. And the kitchen is hot. And the lighting is crap. So it's friday the week is finally done praise the lord but i woke up and guess what there's a big crack on my phone because it apparently slid off my bed last night big old crack in the screen you can't really see it but i'm just like first it got water damaged in my bay i don't even know if i told you guys that no i don't think i told you guys that because to be honest i did not vlog in my bay my last my bay trip i vlogged the the trip before a little bit of that i did vlog i did i did i did but anyways my phone got water damaged in mobay when i was on the kayak so it has some like water damage marks and stuff on the screen now it's cracked so <laughs> it's like they always say whenever your phone knows that you're gonna try and upgrade that is when everything starts to happen like i have never dropped my phone and broken it ever in all the years that i've owned iphones this has never happened to me like ever and this is a first i've also never water damaged an iphone ever i don't know what's happening i don't know what's happening but this is it's not giving good energy but today is friday um i don't know how my day is gonna go yet there's a lot of possibilities for my day to go um it could be really eventful um in terms of me going into kingston and having a good night and all that or it could work out as me just going over to my friend's house to prepare for our trip tomorrow or this weekend so um i definitely gonna end the vlog today um I'm trying to think yeah I'm definitely gonna end the vlog today and you guys are gonna get this vlog this Sunday and then I'm gonna be going to Chaka tomorrow and then that Chaka vlog is gonna come out on Wednesday I think December 1st I think that might be my December 1st vlog guys based on what date it is let me check the calendar real quick y'all yes i do have it written down so chocolate vlog is gonna come out december 1st so that's gonna be the first vlog of vlogmas ah! i'm excited <laughs> can you tell i'm excited but yeah so that's gonna be the first vlog of vlogmas so i guess i know that i decided because i told you earlier in the vlog i wasn't sure but now that i've decided 
I I'm gonna do the schedule um Wednesday. December first is a Wednesday, and because December st first starts on a Wednesday, I decided that I'm gonna keep the schedule Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. So every week is gonna be Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. So that's it for Vlogmas, guys. I can't manage to vlog every single day. I'm gonna have way too much going on to be able to vlog every day. I won't have really resources to vlog every day, the storage capacity. Um, if I was to vlog every other day, I don't know if I would be able to commit to it in terms of giving you guys vlogs on time. And I really, really, really want to be consistent and on time as much as possible this vlogmas so i don't want to set myself up for failure you know what i mean because i know there's going to be a lot going on um so hopefully you guys are okay with it being three vlogs a week let me know in the comments if y'all are excited for vlogmas at first i was kind of nervous but now i'm excited because i just realized that vlogmas literally starts next wednesday so after this vlog it's vlogmas like ah, but I'm excited now. I'm excited now. So we will see how the rest of my day goes. I'm about to jump into work because I overslept. I'm about to jump into work. Already did my skin and everything. Um, I mean, I didn't do much. I just kind of rinsed it with a little water because I did a full routine last night. So I didn't really want to do too much today because I'm breaking out right here. But I feel like I'm breaking out because I used the Dermalogica microfoliant and it's pulling the things out of my skin you know i always wonder why people complain about breaking out after using a product because that means the product is working as far as i know a lot of the times when i don't do my like deep skincare for a while and i do it i usually break out the next day or a day after like two days after because this the stuff were like coming to the surface of my face and then it clears up and then you have clear skin that's the process i'm used to so i don't know I guess it, if it's like a really really bad breakout like cystic or like allergic looking then you gotta be worried but if it's like little pimples and stuff that should be fine I, I mean that's what I think I'm not an expert but that's what I think but anyways um I'm babbling now so yeah I'm gonna we'll see how the rest of the day goes <laughs> because it's up in the air at this point and I'm actually gonna jump into work eat something start to figure out packing for this weekend for chukka because we're gonna be staying at an airbnb as well and what else and yeah so y'all we'll see y'all when we see y'all